What's happening, everybody? It's Eric here from the MMG. We're checking out some City of Gangsters. This is a demo that's part of the uh, Steam Next Fest Festival or whatever it was, which is actually over, but a lot of the demos are still available to play on Steam right now. And this is one of them I downloaded, but I hadn't had a chance to play. Uh, really enjoying it so far. I played through the tutorial now. Uh, though we're, I'm still technically in the tutorial, we're at the uh, back end of it where you're kind of free to do what you want. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at right now. If you're into simulation games, management games, um, I play a ton of them. I have a lot of experience with them, and I can tell just from playing this demo, this is going to be a really good game. Like, they've done a great job with the demo. Um, there's a lot, uh, lot to this game. Uh, I haven't got to do any of the combat or wars yet, and I don't know if that's even in the demo part here yet. Um, but this is one of those games where even if it really isn't there, it, there's enough other things to do that I'm pretty excited. Now, I know you can hire uh, thugs, so I'm assuming there's some kind of a warf warfare, so hopefully we'll get into that here before we end the stream. So uh, I also have Will here with me. He's playing some Dark Alliance, so you may hear him in the background complaining about how bad the game is. Uh, just ignore him. Will, we're streaming live right now, and I forgot I had my mic down, so you couldn't hear me. All good, man. Uh, I told him you were playing Dark Alliance. You may be complaining in the background. <laughs> Absolutely not. I am having an absolute blast with this one. I understand that people have some reservations and complaints about <clears throat> getting used to the controls and the camera has a little bit of issues, but you know what? I'm having fun. It would be even more fun if I was playing with my MMG buddies. I mean, after the 40% rating and all the hate, I mean, unless they want to send me a key to review, I don't. I think I'm gonna save my money. <laughs> I think you're ridiculous. You waste more money on uh, on lunch. Speaking of that, I smoked chicken over the weekend. I've been eating that for the last three days. You know how much a chicken cost me? I actually got two of them. It cost me ten dollars. I think it was like twelve dollars to be honest with tax and everything. For two whole chickens, and boy, man, that lasts forever. I was just telling Jillian, I have to do this more often, because we've got like three or four meals out of them now. Yeah? Yeah. If only I had some friends come over and eat my chicken with me. Yeah. Alright, guys, let's get back to the game. Sorry for the long, uh, the long uh, rant me and Will are going through here. Not a rant, but... It's giving each other a hard time. All right, so this guy right here, and will if I'm annoy, uh, if I'm getting annoying, just let me know. I'll move down. Um, so this guy right here is your player, and so if you scroll out here, the blue outline is actually the area that I have influence and control. And so what that means is I can hold people up for money to uh, like be their protection, so they have to pay me money. Uh, and also other things, I don't have to necessarily do the, um, what's the word, like the, I don't necessarily have to do the bad gangster role. I don't have to hold them up uh, for money. Uh, I can just uh, barter with them. And so basically I, they owe me favors so I can request uh, more contacts and everything. If, you, if I zoom out here, you'll see how big the city is. Quite a bit. Look at that, that is nuts. So I'm anxious to see what all this has in it, but anyways, let's get back to our little spot here. Alright, so your uncle's got you set up, and you kind of take over, and so your uncle shop, you're brewing some beer right here. And this is back in the 1920s, so this is when there was uh, prohibition, so beer's worth a lot of money right now. So we're, we're brewing it illegally. And if I click on right here, you can see right now we don't have any beer in stock because I put it all in my car. So I actually have a car here. It's almost full, but 72%. I'm hauling, at, hauling around 28 beers, so I'm trying to sell them to get money because I'm trying to get other things going. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of skills to learn, like how to brew your beer better, how to open different rackets, all kinds of crazy stuff. And so you need a lot of money. And so right now we're just getting started. So this beer's really not cutting it for me, but um, we get, we got to start somewhere, right? So I, I have relations with these people, these people with a red card. What that means basically is they owe me favors. 
and that means I have half some kind of relationship formed with them. So if I want to come over here, that takes up one action point just to move, and you can see you have your actions uh, up here. So I have uh, remaining this turn one movement point, no actions. So I was coming up to see my, I think he's my cousin, I can't remember what they called him. But if you look right here, this guy actually has unfinished business here. And he owes me ten favors. That's James. That's my, uh, he's family of some sort, I forget. Alright, so I have the things you're waiting for and I can deliver some money. So I've cut a deal with him earlier to teach me a skill, but I had to bring him so much money. I don't have the money yet, but I'm bringing it to him slowly. And, uh, not enough action points, so we're gonna hit next turn up here. It's gonna actually refresh my action points. Now we'll see if we can sell him some beer. So I want to sell homemade beer, and he'll buy 12, so it gets us $96, so not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and actually just give him the money right back to him, though, because I'm trying to get this thing met here. Let's see where we're at with that. Give me an update. I think that's this one. I think he's the backroom bootlegger, so we have $192 of $500 delivered to him, so we're getting there slowly. All right, um, we got some more beer to sell. What else we got some relations here. What's this place? Meat and Cheese Company, that's my kind of place right there. Uh, he'll sell me some malt syrup, which you actually use for brewing. That's not a terrible thing to uh, have a contact about. So, um, but I don't have a relationship with him. He's not going to buy any my alcohol, and right now I don't have any money because I gave it all to my cousin. So, we're just looking to sell right now. Okay, so this guy sells stoneware crocs. That's what you actually put your alcohol in. So, that's a good relationship as well. So, we're going to actually uh, pull in a favor. So, we got a favor here. And so, when I do that, I can I can uh, use a bit of support with a common friend. So, that should let me build a relationship. I'm looking to hire someone from my crew, see if they know someone looking for work. Or, I actually haven't done that one yet. Or you can get me in with some local troublemakers. Let's see about the crew thing here. I know someone who would really appreciate a job. Charlotte Lewis is her name. Alright, so here we go. I've never done this, like I said. So this is, uh... Julia's daughter, apparently. So she's careless. Doesn't pay attention to details. They make for bad managers, but their lack of care makes them a bit more valuable in a fight. Nervous, always looking over a shoulder, always worried. They're not always wrong. They help keep the cops from prying too much. And they're strong. They can handle a weapon and load a truck with ease. All right, Charlotte. Well, let's do it. We're gonna hire our first uh, thug. Okay. Um, I honestly don't know what to do with her now. So let's see. Here's the the hiring card up here. Uh, your new crew member checked in at your main safe house, eagerly awaiting orders. Okay, so our main safe house is actually not far, so it's right here at, uh, this place. I'm gonna click here. Well, I don't know where I actually activate her at. Okay, so here's Uncle. I'm glad you're able to help me. Always. How could I refuse? Thank you. Oh, he's gonna give me $400. Oh, and now we get the hiring lesson, which is obviously what we just did, which is ironic. So let's see if it, So we've got a good relationship, and you've said that you'd be willing to help me out however we can. Let's talk about it. Okay, I could use a bit of support with a common friend. All right, Uncle. So this, as you can see, the contacts he's got that I can make uh, friends with. So I'm actually already friends with all these people. You know, they have the red card by their name. So I actually don't need uh, to do any of these people. But I'm gonna go ahead and click this and see. Contacts. Oop, they all know this. They all run in the same circle. Okay, close that out. We're done with this. Okay, we got to figure out how to. Okay, well now wants to move on with the tutorial, so let's take a look at it here. Now that you have a larger territory, you can start thinking about adding another crew member. The more crew you have, the more you can do per turn okay for example you can send some of your people to run deliveries while you personally take care of more important business oh okay this is awesome having a larger crew will also help you defend against rival outfits 
You hire more crew. Look for any business owners who have the uh, hire icon there on their marker and they know someone interested. They'll need to drive around and talk to them to find out more about that person. You'll need to drive around. As you talk to them, find out about the candidate's personality traits. They're very important depending on the job. For example, you wouldn't want to hire someone careless to be a manager, well, which is what we hired, or someone weak to be a muscleman. Okay, so, well, obviously she's going to be a muscleman then, just from that description from right there. So that's settled. Okay. Okay, good. We just got credit for it. Good. Your crew size is doubled. In the course of a regular game, you would also need to buy a new vehicle for this new hire. But in this tutorial, I got a hold of an old truck that you can use. I dropped it off in front of your safe house. Go ahead and assign this vehicle to the new hire. I trust you'll find out how. Okay. So, new vehicle. Unassigned. Focus on this on the corner. Okay, here we go. So Char here's Charlotte. Sign to building. Oops, I meant to sign her to the vehicle. Uh, remove from building. Sign to vehicle. There we go. Alright, there we go. Got that done. Okay. I see. So now she's like a, her, her own character I can move around. That's pretty sweet, actually. Oh, so, okay. And there you go, now you, your new member is ready to work. If you want to direct them manually, you can just click on their card in the list and tell them where to go and what to do. They can do everything that you can. Alternatively, you can assign them a specific delivery route and they will just follow a specific list of deliveries. That is awesome. So that's exactly what I want actually. Now finish your mission on the left hand side by visiting me at the safe house and starting a conversation. Okay, um... Okay, so... Let's do that real quick. Sorry, I was reading the text. So, look someone to interact with. Oh, Charlotte's there. Okay, we're gonna interact with John. My uncle, always happy to help. And he gives a thousand dollars, wow. Uncle John's got some money. All right. Okay, my dear nephew, I have a few final words of advice for you. First, try to get yourself an additional building. This will greatly increase your base of operations. Look for people who have the building expansion icon. They're actively looking for an opportunity. Okay. It has added a new mission. Second, keep expanding both your territories and your connections. There are many opportunities here, but they are only come to those who make their names known. Third, there is still a lot to I don't know. As you talk to people, try to learn new skills and try to find out more about resources that you haven't explored yet. Some of those can be really profitable. Fourth, expect competition. Over time, you will meet cops, corner hooligans, and other outfits. I'll be back with more advice when that happens. Finally, keep an eye on your finances. Money is the grease in the gears of commerce, as they say. If you ever run out, this whole operation will come to a grinding halt. Good luck, kid. Who knew you'd do so well so quickly? I'll be back with more silent. advice in the situation calls for it. Yeah, I just muted me, so you need to have to listen to me. Rant. I'm still going. There you go, good man. Have fun in the big city. The main tutorial will now be turned off, and you can turn it back on the settings menu. Okay, awesome. Go. Okay, so we are free to go now, which is exciting. So... We don't have moonshine manufacturing up and running yet. We got partial deliveries, 126 to this person, 192 to this person. Uh, we need 400 for that one. Have two buildings currently, we have one. Okay, so that's that's the new one, building tutorial. Let's get, uh, let's get our new hire rolling here. So click to set up a new delivery. Okay. So is she picking up alcohol? I assume is what that means? Or no, that's what the building's doing. Okay. Let's let's see if it's all built into here. Nobody assigned delivery routes. Okay, we're gonna assign vehicle? 
find a driver. So we're gonna sign Charlotte. Vehicle. Okay, she's in her pickup. Perfect. Okay. Right, at least two steps. A driver and a vehicle in good condition. Okay. So add next step. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. Okay. So action. We're gonna buy a resource. Uh, we don't actually want to buy. We want a storage pickup. We're gonna pick up alcohol. Uh, let's see. Homebrew beer, there it is. Couldn't remember what the first part of the of it was called. Okay, item Central Fruit Store. What? It's called Oh, it is called Central Fruit Store. I didn't know that. I thought that was just called my warehouse. Okay, so that's it. And all oh, yeah, that's fine. We'll pick up all. Okay. Save this delivery step, save this step, blah blah blah. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we just wanna save it. Add a new one. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to deliver to Uncle, uh, whatever his name was, here at the sandwich shop, James. Okay. So, yep, there, there, there. Do I just click on this? No, it got rid of that. Okay. That didn't do the right thing. Oh, man, that sucks. I got to start all over now. Okay. All right. Here we go. Already assigned. Okay, well maybe we didn't lose our progress then. Let me click on her again. Okay, here we go. Click the next step in the route. Okay, so we didn't lose our progress, that is good. Okay, so this is the next step, right? It looks like it, yes, okay. So now we're gonna sell resources to the Smith Outfit. Hmm. Here. Oh, yes. Okay. How do I tell it to do the Smith outfit, though? That's what I'm confused about. Show location. Where'd the Smith outfit go? I lost it now. There it is. So, you, you want to go here. Hmm. The Daisy's Coffee and Tea Shop sell. Why did it pick Daisy's? Oh, is that my neighbor right here? Wait, I think Daisy's is somewhere around here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm full of it. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I did wrong here. Okay. Pick up from Central Store. Previous step, pick up homemade beer as much as possible. Yes, that is correct. Now maybe I need to drive her. It eh, doesn't look like it. It looks like it was pointing there, so I just did something wrong there. Go back here. Add a step. I feel like I should be able to click this and then click here. No, nope, but it just flicks it out every time. Well, it did, it did successfully add another step. Okay, let's go back. Look at this again. Go to the next step. Disable. Disable steps will be skipped. <laughs> i just delete this. Well, actually, it's fine. We just need to get it set here. Go to the next step. Yep. This is where it starts. This is where we set this. I just don't know how to get this to pick it. We are gonna sell a resource. It's the the beer. Wherever it went, homemade beer. I think Daisy's what did buy it. Maybe it just automatically picked the Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay. This must be all the places that can buy. So James is gonna be first. Okay, sell all. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and then I think this step is done. Let's save this delivery step. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this one. And we're gonna also sell more beer. 
And daisies is next, that's fine, perfect, okay. Save this step. Add another one, same deal. <clears throat> Bee source, beer... Whoops. We haven't got a lumber factory going yet, unfortunately. Beer. Okay, we already been to daisies, we haven't done chesters. I don't know where these places are located is the only problem here. So daisies, is the, let's see where chesters is. Is this Chester's? Oh, it's it would been actually better to go. Chester's next. Okay, we'll hit Chester's. We'll go boom, boom, boom. It won't be the most logistical route, but we're just trying to get our feet wet with this anyways. So we'll go Chester's and, uh, yeah, we're going to sell out. Then hopefully it wraps back around here. And I think we're good, so... Start this delivery requires at least two steps, a driver in a vehicle in good condition. That is running. Okay. I think we're good. I'm anxious to see if this works. Okay, so let's. I think. I, I'm assuming it'll either go at the end of my turn. So I want to pick on me, John Smith. And uh, I don't even know what else we need here. Let's see. Here. Yeah, we need, uh, we need Crocs. And I do have some money, okay. Oh, I have fourteen hundred dollars on me. Oh, that's at my warehouse. I've, okay. So all that money boss man was giving me. Or uncle. Going in the shop here, so there we go. So we need to buy I already have crooks. I'm so confused. This is my car. Okay. Get with it, Eric. Okay, so there's that. Got beers on me. We have fifteen of these. Okay, look, first first thing we're going to do is we're going to deliver this money to our uncle and get that, or what, whoever he is, our family member here. There's that $300. Okay, so game back room bootlegging. Improved relationship with James Smith. Yes. He's going to let me bring my beer better, which is a big deal. All right, someone asked, you you helped. Hey, it pays to know people who know things. You've learned a new skill that you can use to expand your outfit's operation. Okay, excellent. How's the front doing? Funny neighborhood luncheon, $8 a month. Let's talk about the locals. I need to expand my territory out there. Interest, $10 every month for the upkeep of the local park. So long as the respect materializes. Pay $10. Yeah, that seems like a good deal. Alright, next up, delivering favors. This one's expensive. I'd be like all my money. We better do the delivering favors. Which is here apparently. I don't remember who I was interacting with though. I don't see an icon. This guy? Oh, looks like it. Okay, so come back. Oh, not enough movement. Okay, here we go. Let's see if she actually does her stuff here. Boy, it didn't look like she moved at all, did it? Well, what happened to that, then? Like, she should be running. Alright, we'll give it one more shot here. There's the $400. Alright, so our friend dropped off this envelope, it has everything you need, but she's been hinting that there are definitely other opportunities to be had with this delivery operation. Okay, please thank her, I'm glad that she's looking to make her way, but since I don't know her personally, I'll just be taking these papers to be on my way, so I gain skill truck driving, or further opportunities, you say, I'm sure that this can help with whatever they might need. So it starts mission speed delivery, but and we still gain skill truck driving. Okay, let's do that. Smart way, a hard way. You've chosen the smart way. Excellent. Okay, so that's done. Oh, he wants to expand too. Hundred dollars, Louise. How much money does he want?
$68. Okay, so. He still hasn't moved, has he? Very frustrating. Can I sell you some beer? I cannot. I think somebody over here was gonna buy it. Where it was, let's see. Not there. Here we go. <clears throat> no buy at all. Alright, so there we got enough money to finish off this payment. Okay, so money talks, my friend. See the truck out front? Keys are under the front seat. I've made arrangements for you to use it as you see fit, but now that you have a truck, they may have other opportunities as well. Okay, so thank them for the truck, but I've got enough to do, so gain a new vehicle. Not sure what I could provide help to, but they can let me know. Gain a vehicle and start mission building relations. I've been looking to sell more homemade beer. They do work for a delivery company, so starts mission new customers homemade beer. I'm looking for more space to expand my uh, operations. Maybe being a delivery company, they'll know a place. Wow, okay, so that's kind of cool. I like how this mission is going to let me branch and pick my next mission. Um, so one of my missions is to buy a new property, but the problem with that is I don't have any money. I've spent it all. So I'm thinking maybe... Uh, they can maybe just build relations here and they'll give me maybe some new missions. <clears throat> We're gonna pick that one. Okay. Speed that up a little bit here. This. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got a new truck, didn't I? Boy, I don't, that's not good for me because I don't have anybody to drive it. He's not moving, so something's jacked up with this. Let's figure this out of here. Stop this delivery. Remove the crew member. <clears throat> is this status running? Why is this not working? Is it because is there no beer here? Is that what's going on? We out of beer? We still don't have any beer. Okay, what do they need to get this going? What's what's the problem here, Uncle? So every twenty days, four turns. Oh. All we need is, is that. We have that, right? We got 50. We got Crocs. I don't know what the problem is. We just gotta wait in our turns. I think that's what, what we're waiting on. Well, boy, this truck is about useless. I'm gonna drive it. Can I drive it by itself? Can't. Okay. Stay there then, truck. I don't think I even got any beer on me. Guess we can go uh, make some people pay some, extort some people. Apparently we don't own this. No, we don't own this territory. Okay. Who do you know? Who do you know? Can you touch a little pearl? Okay. A little bit. Let's drive around and get some sights in. What? Click on this. Discover this spot. Got a movement again. Furniture store, huh? long block here. Postcard, a new corner now acknowledges that you and your crew are in charge around here. That's right. Um, is she moving? She's still not moving. The hell? Why are you going around that way? 
Postcard, later that day, someone knocked on your door and left a package. Some dead fish rolled in the newspaper. You get a feeling someone has it out for you. You just met Chicago Police Department. Police officers will make surprise raids at corners with a lot of heat, and the other times they will patrol their district and arrest miscreants. Might be beneficial to become good friends. Production stalled. Grade your operation. Why is production stalled here? I don't get it. I got malt, stoneware, what am I missing? Oh, we need 50 of these. Okay, apparently it doesn't make it. Okay. That's the problem, lady woman. That's the problem. So we got 270 money. Go buy some. See who's selling. So there is a nice little handy resource over you here. And I just gotta find... What was I looking for? How long is that at? Stoneware Crocs. There we go. This is where I can buy them at, so... Obviously, you want to buy someone who's got a relationship with you right here. Looks like a top-notch buyer, in my opinion. So, um, she's not doing anything. We're going to click on her. I've heard do this. I'm going to buy some stuff. $44, huh? Oh, she has no money on her. Okay. Uh, here, the warehouse link's got some. I don't think that's enough though. Let's see. Look at this handy thing again. Sell some right there. Now we don't own this neighborhood, so it probably cost me a little bit more. Oh, not enough action points. Okay. Oh, shoot. Going back to do our delivery. Oh, hey. Somebody leveled up. John Smith. his driving skills. John. Okay. There's that. And that gives us the right amount. Okay. I need more beer on me, do we? I think we gotta extort. So we're extorting from them, that's what this means. They're paying you protection money. So this is right by a police department. I don't really know. I know uh, in the description it said that you wanna extort businesses that you have a front on uh, that are close by because you'll get more money out of them. And so we have a front right here. Um, where else we can put a front in? Man, everybody wants to talk. I don't. I don't got time for all this. Yeah, I need some money. Okay, here's the front right here. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. Oh, oh, oh wow! Wait. Oh, apparently I don't have a front there. Where the hell's my front at right here? 
Oh, here we go. This one's... This one's the front. Okay. Gaining renown, you've been gained quite the reputation around these parts. You can pick a street name that people will know you by. Scarface, huh? The name will be displayed as John Scarface Smith. Or Scarface Smith in your crew list. Please consider the street name carefully. It can only be assigned once. Well, I mean, I'm known in these parts as Logic Bomb. Though, uh, this is the 1920s and nobody knows what that means, but that's fine. Okay, what were we focusing on here? Come over here to this front. Maybe. Okay, yeah, this is the front. So now we can exploit this ice cream stop. Okay. Hey, there'd be an honor. There we go. There's some more money we're exploiting, and there is... That's not in that business area. Okay, exploiting there. Where's the next one at? Oh, up here. Okay. There's no businesses to exploit up here. That won't work. I'd be all we can exploit right now. Twenty dollars on me, yeah. Take the rest of the moolah. Buy some more of these pot things. I think I've already bought everything I can buy from there. We're gonna have to go to this side. Dirty, huh? I like that. Space. Okay, well, four more and they'll have enough. Oh, I can exploit her. There we go. Now we're gonna make some moolah. Should have done that earlier. Why you sniff around my fronts? So I'll tolerate your presence. I've tolerated your presence long enough. Hmm. Interesting. Boss of the steward outfit, huh? Hmm. I don't have a crew with me. Uh, 
Ah, so they... I see. Alright, here we go. Oh no, she got a gun. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna back out of that. That was not gonna be a win-win for us. Martha Stewart, you win this war. to do just kind of waiting now there she goes she actually got her delivery and she's doing it yes one of your operations has completed its production is like resulting in a product has been placed in storage storage room at your building excellent that is awesome okay let's see if we can just buy a few more it's only like four short on these that not have been the right spot $22. That should be enough to do it in a batch at least. Oops. Hit there. Man, money is tight. One of your fronts has been subverted. That's what that noise was. Okay. Crew from the Stewart Gang have been seen on the corner. Hey, she sold it. Made $120. That's awesome. That's cool. It gives you a little overview. So Charlotte has most of my money right now. Muscle actually, I should have her go fight Martha Stewart. Already assigned, assigned to a two door vehicle, removed from vehicle. be assigned to the build. Dad yeah, assigned me to the building? Okay. Don't look like it. Assign one of your tree members as a manager to improve his operations. So remove from vehicle, then can I do it? I don't know if that worked or not. Maybe you can't assign yourself Oh yeah, there you go. Outfit boss cannot be assigned to manager building. That makes sense. Well, kind of waiting on that beer production to get made back. I think we're just going to speed things up a little bit here. Look how beard herself. You must, I guess.
All right, everybody, I'm going to actually end the stream there. Uh, I have to go take care of something around the house. So thank you for watching again. This game is called City of Gangsters. Uh, still a lot to do here. I uh, don't know if I'll have time to make another video, though, but maybe I will. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and follow button. And have yourself a great day.